Good morning everyone. It is 7 a.m. Cloudy day. We have got to get that thing moved from there way back there. Yeah, about right in there. We are officially putting the chickens out on pasture and we've got about uh, say 30 to 45 minutes to get that thing moved all the way out there before the automatic doors open up and it's wet everywhere we'll see how this goes There's a few improvements I still need to do to this. Uh, for one, our solar panel. The little solar panel on top just was not big enough to keep this battery charged. So I uh, went and got a bigger solar panel. And right now I've just been uh, jabbing this in the ground and setting it on top of it to stand it up facing whatever direction I want with the sun. I'm gonna end up putting a bracket on the trailer itself. That way the solar panel like it is is stationary but I'll still be able to rotate it and spin it whatever degree I need to to get full uh, sunlight on it. But for now, this is what we're doing. So for now, that's what we're doing. And I can make it face south to get full sun. Make sure it's clean. The doors are fixing to open any minute. You can see that watch there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the ladders up, get ready for them to come out. I'll move the mule out of the way and we can get some footage of them coming out. So on this old footage here, you can see these two pieces of angle iron that we welded coming off the back. That is for this right here. 
These right here are our water catchment systems that come off of our gutters. I've piped them in. We ended up screwing on two four by fours to those two pieces of angle iron to hold them steady. We're going to catch all of our rainwater come in. I've got a little air hole on the top. And then of course our valve on the bottom to get our water out. We'll have our water set up here. And hopefully we don't have to fill these up very often. Hopefully the good Lord will fill them up for us. We're gonna go ahead and feed them. I mean, these things are flocking all over our feet. Good. We're gonna go ahead and put some grain out, give them something to do, eat. Oh, there's one way over there. But uh, then we're gonna set up our new fences around. I can't even get to their feet trough. We got in the mail. New Gallagher Turbo Poultry Netting. This stuff to bomb. So a couple things about this Gallagher fence that you can see behind me, we are super excited about it. Um, and some of the reasons are because of its performance. We've read up on it and Gallagher is definitely, in our opinion, the leader in electric fencing. We have almost all of this 200 acres behind me fenced uh, with electric fencing and then we're adding more all the time. So we've been looking into electric fencing for a few years now and Gallagher is just the best of the best. So we were super excited when we found out they are gonna be uh, selling their own brand of this electric poultry netting. Other brands that we have owned are made of what's called polywire. Well, what makes Gallagher so much better is it has polywire in it but it also has other things. It's what's called a turbo wire. It has uh, mixed metal strands throughout it that helps it to conduct electricity better. And if you've ever tried to keep farm animals in, uh, the type of wire you use makes a huge difference. For example, we have two pens right behind our house. One has my milk cows in it. The other one was just the bachelor pad. Well, we've also used that over the years to wean my milk cow's calves off and put them over there. We had an electric fence charger, a pretty good one. And we had a strand of poly wire going down between the fences that was electrified to train the calves that, hey, 
you're done. You're too old to be on mama. And we fed them good and everything. They had everything they needed. But if you've ever been around calves you've tried to wean off their mama, or anything you've tried to wean off their mama for that matter, they will find any way possible to get back to mama. And so one day, it's been several years ago, uh, we just, we could not afford a big, huge charger. So what we did is we invested in a better roll of wire and that solved the problem. That was all it took was just getting a better quality wire to conduct the electricity from the chargers we already had. So that is why I'm telling you the type of wire in your fences is so very important. And lastly, why Gallagher? Why have you noticed that we are partnering with Gallagher right now? Why would I be telling you about Gallagher's products? Well, here's the number one thing. Ben and I decided here a while back that if we were going to talk about anyone on our channel, it had to be something that we were actually using their products uh, pretty much already and that we believed in their products and that we could stand behind them and that we knew that was a good company that would stand behind their products. And Gallagher is one of those companies. Um, we have had trouble with even some homestead companies in the past with customer service. Um, and there's nothing more frustrating than putting your hard earned money into something and then to have a problem with it and you can't get a hold of anyone or you can't get anyone to listen and try to help you fix the problem. And Gallagher is just not like that. Their customer service is amazing. So maybe a poultry netting is not what you need. You may need something else. You may need just some single strand hot wire to keep in uh, a horse or a cow or something like that. In fact, this whole property is fenced with one wire for cows and calves. If you get a good energizer, that's all it takes for a large animal is one wire. Um, so go check them out. See if there's something they have that you can, you might need and that you can start saving and invest in. But I guarantee you, if you get this poultry netting and you get yourself a good energizer, I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge one. I would suggest going a tad bit bigger than what you think you might need, um, just because you might wanna put a larger animal in this fence at some point. But if you do that, get you a good combo, this will literally last you for years. This will not be a purchase you're having to go back and repurchase because you bought an inferior product that didn't last. And the best part about it is, we have a discount code for you guys. So if you go to Gallagher.com and we're going to link them below and use that checkout VWFF10, they're going to give you guys 10% off. So I'm here to tell you they have went above and beyond on their poultry netting. These little step-ins, oh, just like the just like the ring tops that we use. Sorry, coming her, didn't think. Just like the ring top uh, posts that we use out on uh, our cattle rotation, these things have got the step ins. They're top notch. All right, now all we like is hooking up the Gallagher solar charger. These chickens are gonna start rotating behind our cows. We move the cows about every three days. These chickens will do the same. After the cows have been off of a paddock for three days, we'll rotate them in and they'll get the fly larva bugs and all the goodies out. We pray that the uh, water catchment system works great, just as it's designed in my head, the way I think it should work. We shall see this this weekend and next week. They're calling for a bunch more rain chances and just like, seems like every day, nonstop rain. But anyway, we're going to get these chickens all set up, finished, and we're going to go to the house and get us some breakfast since they just had theirs. Thanks for watching. God bless.